Welcome back to this week's THS TV. I'm your host, Elena Zapeta. And I'm your host, Alyssa Hernandez. Your books are in. Make sure to purchase them at Balfour.com or in room 119 with Mr. Garcia. Two weeks ago, Senior Sunset was hosted by Student Council and other organizations. Here is Jazz and Bree on the scene. Hey, guys! <laughs> it's Nick and Bree, you know? Okay, it's Jazz here, and I'm here with Bree. We have Derek in the back. And today is Senior Sunset, and we're going to take you guys along with us. Right now, we're about to go get food. Because we're hungry. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll see you guys. Where are we going? Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A. So, yeah, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. I got um, a number one with no pickles with an Arnold Palmer and ranch and buffalo. I got the 12 count meal with the large beer and chocolate sauce. And Derek bought me a brownie. Yes! Catch you guys when we get to the field. See you in like two seconds. Alright guys, we just ate Chick-fil-A. We're finna go to the field now. Yeah, yeah, we don't really know what to expect. Yeah, so we don't know what to expect. Apparently there's supposed to be like concessions and Anyone, I have my disposable. Anyone is welcome to go. See y'all there. No, the seniors. All right, so we made it. Okay, y'all, so it's Brianna Takeover. So back there we had... Jazz just doesn't know when to record and when not to record. So we got this. So we got those tables over there. I think that's a game over there. So then we have the cheerleaders here. If you buy a cup, we'll do a flip. Then we have, um, what is this? BSU. Tacos. BSU um, selling Takis. Sour Patch. Sour Patch. NHS. NHS selling drinks. There we go. And then over here we have um, Skills selling brisket sandwiches. We have everybody on the field. Kind of cute. Soccer. People playing soccer. There's not that many folks in the stand, yeah. but there's like a good decent amount. Oh, look at that couple. Does this fit? Um, so shoes are Converse, uh -huh. shorts are from, I don't know, it was a Christmas present, I got this shirt in Port Aransas, this is from Earthbound, America, from my best friend AJ, Pandora, James Avery, Sales, and Sheen, and Slide Jewelry, yeah, here's Brianna's fit. Okay, so shoes are Amazon, socks are from um, Target, shorts are Lululemon, and jacket is from Happy Lobby, um, bracelet is from Kendra Scott, rings are from Kendra Scott, this ring is my grandma's. And then necklace for my best friend, and then disposable camera. Period. Her. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this because we really put a lot of thought and effort into this. Just like they put a lot of thought and effort into these games. Yeah. So we got um, Air Force over here. Then we have we have chess over here. Chess. And Jenga. And Jenga. But we're gonna watch. Yeah. Really pretty, you know. Um, you know, everybody's kind of just doing their own thing, you know. We are here with the famous Khalees, Julia, and Sam. So, as y'all as y'all been seniors, how do y'all feel about it being your last senior event? You know, we're graduating in like three weeks. Um, it's very sentimental. Just taking it all in and taking a step back and realizing like these are our final weeks. Really? Oh my god. Okay, y'all. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Come back for next week's video. Bye bye. Tune in next week on THS TV. See you guys next time. And now we have Sal asking students their biggest regret from this past year. Just say it. Anything. Anything. I can't think of nothing. We'll come back to him. We'll come back to him. Um, today I'm asking people what their biggest regret is. Okay, what's your biggest regret? Not trying hard enough in life. Yeah. I can see that. Hey, Benji. Hey, what you mean by Benji. What's your biggest regret? My biggest regret is uh spending money on on like random like you know thing not important things rather than like necessities. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like clothes and all that. Yeah. Like okay. Like this fear of God sweater that's like a hundred something dollars. <laughs> What's your biggest regret? Um, my biggest regret is not getting dreads. Great, Kaden. My biggest regret is um moving to Rosenberg and coming to Terry. No no shade to Terry. Yeah, that's it. It's all shade. It's all shade. I don't like it either. either. Um, my biggest regret is not taking AP this year because my U.S. history class makes my brain hurt. Why are you screaming? Because it's so loud that I can't hear.
Seniors, make sure your parents pick up your graduation tickets in the auditorium. And now we have Hannah asking people their biggest icks. But what? What do I have to gain about lying to you? With your non-existent butt. I'm sorry, do some squats. All right, I'm here with... Sal. All right, what's an ick you have? When girls think they're better than everybody. Like a... Or when they're funny, or they think they're funny. Oh, but they're not? Like, we're talking like God complex, where they think they're better? And that gets, that gets old fast. Don't do that. All right, I'm here with... Sabrina. All right, what's an ick? When guys sag. Like, we're talking all the way down to, huh? Yes, exactly like that. Oh, like, so <laughs> also when they wear, like, expensive belts and they yeah. still manage to sag. Like, I don't want to see your whole butt in the middle of the hallway. Yeah, I'm trying to call you out. Yeah. Anyways, he doesn't even have a belt on. Well, what's the egg when they have belts, right, and they don't buckle it? Y'all don't buckle y'all's belts? That's, that's, that is, what's the point of it being there, then? Y'all are weird if y'all don't buckle y'all's belts, but y'all still wear it on you. All right, I'm here with Jazz. All right, what are some eggs? Um, one of my aches is when like guys have like their SoundCloud links to their music in their Instagram bios, or like they send it out and like per say like promote their music. I hate it. You know, back in the olden days, Gabby had a SoundCloud reviewing account, <laughs> and wait, 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 yeah, she she had a reviewing account, and she did like one dude, like she did a couple of dudes from Terry, but one dude who was like the best at Terry. I don't know if he still goes here, but apparently all his little friends got mad. They were like, he's the best. What do you mean he's mid? And it was just pretty dramatic. Can you like revive that account and I we can go it's over? Like, it's like two dudes and then like some random album. Yeah, it's like four posts in total or three. Oh my God, cause I know a guy and he has his SoundCloud link in his bio. And like me and him are friends. Can we review his music? I would love to do that. All right, you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, wait, 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 guys, y'all, y'all about to see Gabby's new account uprising. <laughs> Hashtag follow and subscribe. <laughs> all right, Gabby, what's an egg? Okay, so we're back in the closet for this one. So I'm gonna just say when not straight girls say they're like, I'm not like the other not straight kids. I don't make it my whole personality, and they're so annoying. I'm like, bro, just let people have fun. Just let them like like frogs and like rainbows. Okay, um, because every every fruity person likes frogs. Just, Literally, no, it's a range of frogs. Like they like if if they know more than two frog species, and they're not like you know like a science nerd. Yeah, they're gay. And if they are a science nerd and they like frogs, they're even more gay. gay. Yeah, it's it's a double gay. I like bullfrogs and poison dart frogs. You're gay. You're gay. And my ick is when guys have in their bio built different it's giving off ford f-150 vibes oh also people who like watch anime but make it their whole personality don't get me wrong i i, I like anime but then people who watch like haikyuu and then they're like see someone playing volleyball and they're like oh my god so haikyuu oh my god also people people who dress like very expensive like their clothes is worth like a uh, yeah, yeah, like you, Sal, you're a prime example. He he has a lot, like his, his shoes, how much are your shoes? Your shoes are 60? Okay, that's not what I'm talking about then. I'm talking about like the people who wear like a thousand dollar shirt and all that, but yet it looks trashy. I'm gonna rob you. It, it still looks trashy. Money does not buy fashion, okay? I'm just gonna throw it out there. No, it doesn't. Have, I don't know. Have you seen Kanye's shoes? Those are, at, at that point, he's just testing y'all to see how dumb y'all are to buy it. It's it's so much money for like the basic. For cheap, right? Like those the foam rollers they have, they go for sixty. But it's the people that sell them that make it go for so much. It's not necessarily it's the people. That Either which way, trash. I'm sorry. Sorry to break y'all's hearts. I'm sorry. Especially like everyone at Terry. I bet everyone's gonna be mad about that one. Sorry. Also, people who sag. People who sag, especially if you have belts that sag. Sal, pull up your pants, Sal! <laughs> and now we have Jazz asking seniors to describe their senior year in one word and also asking for their advice. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jazz, and in honor of the class of 22 graduating, I'm be going on asking every senior to describe their senior year in one word and to give advice to incoming seniors. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here with Juliet. What advice do you have to the incoming seniors? Um, take your education seriously and then enjoy this year because it will go by fast. That is so true. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so I'm here with Aaron. So describe your senior year in one word. I would say chaotic. I 100% agree. So next we have um, Delencia. So what advice do you have to incoming seniors? Um, the people you hang around with do matter. So choose wisely who you hang around with and who builds you up throughout high school. That's really good. Thank you, guys. 
Hey guys, it's Brianna, and I'm um, taking over Jazz's segment real quick for like two seconds. Um, so we're in the gym here during Ranger time, and I'm gonna ask a few seniors that are in here, you know, the questions. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm here with Dominic. And what is one word that would describe senior year? Uh, fun. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm here with Alfonso. And so what is some advice you would give the seniors next year? Uh, I would just tell them uh, be involved in school activities. Don't turn your schoolwork late and yeah. Good job. High five. Make sure you <laughs> damn. Make sure you come to school. So I'm here with Safia. Describe your senior year in one word. Hectic. Most definitely. It was all over the place this year. All right, so I'm here with Joe. Describe your senior year in one word. Uh amazing. Amazing, why? Because uh, I got all A's and all B's. It wasn't hard, it's easy. First, so you were slight? Yeah. All right, bet, thank you. All right, so basically just wrapped up my last segment for THS, shut up, for THS TV. Very bittersweet moment, and so I feel like graduating, I never, I'm a participant in this segment, I usually do, with like Kiana or Delana in this time break. So I feel like, I'm gonna do both. So I'm gonna describe my senior year different because I'm not from Rosenberg. So it's definitely different. How would you describe yours? My senior year, I would say, is very hectic. Yeah, and my advice for the seniors next year definitely don't be scared to participate in like senior events like dress up days, senior sunset, senior sunrise because this is something like you're never gonna get again, and college is definitely gonna be different for everybody. I would say make sure. Like basically get everything documented, like take pictures like and stuff, get a disposable camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just always <laughs> like make sure to cherish cherish this because you know, this is your senior year, that's that's it after that, you know? But yeah. Yeah, take your friendships very lighthearted because nine times out of ten you're really not gonna talk to these people ever again. So take everything like a grain of salt. Like not everybody has to like you. Don't be a people pleaser. Not because everybody's gonna find something wrong. It's it's life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's segment, and I wish everybody luck. The incoming seniors, freshmen, sophomores, juniors. I would say see you guys next time, but I'm not gonna see y'all again. So bye. This is it. Bye. Seniors, make sure to be on the lookout for any activities and events leading up to graduation next week. And that's a wrap on this week's THS TV. I'm your host, Alyssa Hernandez. And I'm your host, Elena Zapata. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.